welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can create bar plot using r as you know previously when we were using idep or other tools few students were facing issue because of the different files so in this video i will use ggplot to draw these bar plot half gene ontology so as here you can see we have different terms gene counts and fdr value so let me open my r studio so as you know here is r so we will be using one script so but don't worry i will give you the download link of this r script in the video description so you can directly go and download this script and you can just change your data file to draw your own gene ontology plot and here let me show you what should we have as a file so as here you see we i have given you one example file so let me show you in this in the excel form so uh, as here you see we have actually id then we have terms we have counts we have p value and ftr so it is up to you as many as but among these three are most important so one is that term then we have gene counts and the lastly we should have ftr so these uh, three are most important so you can use uh, your own file then you can create your gene ontology keg plot so let me go to the uh, this r and we can go and open that r script directly here in this r studio so let me open this r script so you can also directly open that script so as here you see uh, first i have written that for this you need to install your ggplot2 and as i have already installed ggplot2 so let me show you if i have installed uh, ggplot2 so as here you see i have already installed ggplot2 so i will just need to activate this so for activating i will simply click on this or maybe i will just use library function of ggplot2 so i will select this one and i will simply run so as here you see this ggplot is now activated and before that let me uh, access to that folder i can go to uh, where i have just saved this file so you also need to save your file in your working directory so let me i have saved my files in r and uh, then yeah you see here i have sorry i just double click i should made a single click and then r and then one yeah so as here you see i have so in this folder you see i have one already created one bar plot then i have saved this r script and then here i have input text which i have just saved as excel file so after i have to uh, change my working directory as here you see actually uh, if i see my working directory it is on home get working directory so you see it is actually the home so i want to just change this so you see it is on the home so i want to change this and uh, working directory so i am using my this folder analysis and media then i have my folder dr asif molecular biology then in r and in then folder one so i will select this and i will run code this so you see here there is no error so it means it is working and now we need to select our input file so as we know our input file is this so i will just select this part and i will run so you see here now input file is added so here we also can uh, write the format of output file so we can also rename this so maybe we can write for example video 
yeah maybe we can write this name and now we can select this path and select simply run so now we need to uh, read this file i mean so we will select this one and we need to select all these three names like you see here terms then count and fdr three are most important so i want to let the r to read this so i will simply run this so you see here now the data is uploaded with 30 observations because here we want to draw the gene ontology of 30 categories and with six variables so it is now it is has been read now we will go for sorting the FDR value so you just need to simply select this and run this one so uh, now we need to draw our gene ontology plot so you don't need to do anything because you know this code you will get from my file or you can even ask to the chat GPT so it will help you to write this so you don't need to worry about understanding this so you can simply copy all this and press on this r so you see here now uh, it is generated and now let me save this my output file and uh, we can simply click here so you see here now one new file up has been appeared so i will simply show you that you see here a high quality gene ontology graph is ready so in this way, you can also use your file to draw your gene ontology plot. So if you have any question, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.